that the stream deck can do so now what is the stream deck let me show you so here's the stream deck uh, as you can see these buttons are laid out on here these are the buttons on the stream deck and as i press the hardware button on the stream deck you'll see me cycling through different screens and these are something that i've set up to do different things on my stream deck and launch different applications like i mentioned so this button launches ecamm live this button here takes me to my podcast show and then this button down here if i click on it again and again i'm pressing on the hardware button but pointing with the arrow to show you what it looks like and then, so these are the different scenes that i've set up youtube video uh, layout then i have the webinar layout uh, little sound effects that i've created on here so all of these things are designed to do something on the scene and uh, makes it makes your life a lot easier and here's a go back studio version that i've that we've created now the reason i have this loom window up here is because here are keyboard shortcuts that loom uh, can be triggered with just by pressing these keyboards uh, these keyboard shortcuts on your computer and i don't know if you knew this because i saw you you know we i've been doing this the same thing you would go up to this screen and then pull up loom and then blah 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 now i am looking in my teleprompter window and what i discovered is instead of well what i discovered is you have this full screen mode so if you actually click on here and select which monitor you want to use so this is a desktop two where everything is and this is desktop one where it probably is located currently so if you select desktop two it will always invoke up here uh, on the screen where you're looking directly into the microphone or directly into the the teleprompter and then you get to see yourself in here as well as everything else that you might be talking about so quick uh, update on how to set up loom so it pops up on that window or computer monitor as opposed to the one down here all right next up is i want to talk about let's close this thing and talk about uh, how the stream deck can be programmed to trigger these buttons over here and that's powerful because I've set up these three buttons right here, three, four buttons. I'm still working on the rest. The first button, start and stop recording. As soon as I press this button, watch this. Three, two, one. And now it's recording on Loom as well as, and I can click on these tiny buttons to go big screen and small screen. And that we probably already knew that. And then as soon as I press this button again on the hardware, It'll stop recording and of course upload it to the link up here. So quick shout out, shout out on that one. Then of course there's the pause. So as soon as I let's say hit record and I want to pause the recording as I'm going, I, I can click this pause button on the hardware. Uh, this third one is cancel the recording. Oh crap! I messed up. Cancel the recording. Record again. I'm about to set up the quick restart because I'm sure you've had that. Uh, oh my God, that video is not right. And then you go up to Loom and then can't, you know, delete it and then create a new one. So this shortcut really helps. So again, I'm setting up these buttons in this profile over here. And if you want me to help you set that up, we can set up a Zoom call and then, you know, I can help you set up these things on your computer as well. Anyways, uh, hope you're doing well and, uh, Where's that? Where's my, oh, here. Anyways, hope you're doing well, and I'll catch you in the next video, brother. Hope you're doing well, and I'll catch you in the next video, brother. Take care. And.